What's good, YouTube? Y'all know what it is, man. We're back with another video. Your boy just got a package in from Babylist. Check it out. I ain't gonna lie, as y'all can see, I already opened it. But we finna get into this unboxing, see what they sent your boy. But before we jump into this video, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like this video, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? But without further ado, let's jump into this unboxing. Let's get it. Let's get this out of here. We don't need that. All right, so check it out. I don't know if y'all can see in the box, but we got some stuff in here, man. Let's start off with this right here. As you can see, your boy got the new Red Low Pro FX ones. Y'all know I already got the original F, uh, Low Pro FX ones right here, but now we got the red ones, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm assuming it's gonna be the same thing as the uh, original ones. Only difference is the color, but Let's go ahead and read some of the stuff on the back. That way we can see if it's actually the same thing or if it's different. New black titanium MIM fade blade. So it does come with a black MIM blade. Uh, obviously it has built-in oil reservoirs, zero gap adjustable, lower blade temperature, new N1 brushless motor, new five position locking stretch taper lever. So it does come with a stretch taper, uh, stretch lever sim similar to the original Low Pro FX ones. An interchangeable lithium battery. So just looking at the back and what I've read so far, it's basically gonna be the same clipper, just a different color. But with that being said, let's go ahead and open this up so we can see how this clipper looks. All right, check it out. We got the clipper right here. Woo! Look at that thing, man. That thing looks nice. It's, it's always so hard to get these clippers out of the box when they package them, but we got it. All right, check it out. Here it is. Mm, this thing looks nice. Y'all see that? The Low Pro FX1. We got the red paint on there, black MIM blade. Uh, as you can see, we got the click lever right here. The clicks feel a little different than the original Low Pro FX ones, but we'll talk about that here in a minute. Uh, on and off switch, and then right here is where the battery goes. So we obviously also get the charging dock that we can put the battery in. And then we also get the battery also, which once again, guys, you can interchange this one battery between all your FX1 units. So as y'all see, I have the new Low Pro FX1s. I'm gonna put the battery in here. You can see that thing's on. Take that out. And then if I wanted to use the same battery, I can use it in my, low, in my older Low Pros. So we just take it out of here. Put the same battery in here, boom, ready to go. So these batteries are interchangeable across all FX1 tools. So once again, same battery. As you can see, I took the battery out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the red Low Pro FX1. As you can see, we can see how much charge we have. And then it works in this one also. 
So let's go ahead and take this part of the box out. That way we can see what else comes in the box. So we do get the Babyliss Premium Guards. Are these the Premium Guards? Yeah, we get the Low Pro. We get the Babyliss Premium Guards in here. We got the 0.5 and the 1. And then I'm assuming these are the bigger ones, 1.5 up to the 6. We get the charging adapter with the charging cord. We also get some oil, a little screwdriver, a cleaning brush, and all that good stuff. That's basically all that comes in the box. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way so we can see what else they sent your boy. So they did also send me two new batteries. Once again, shout out Babyliss. I greatly appreciate y'all, man. Uh, but we got two new batteries also. Let's put that to the side. And then check it out. They also sent your boy the matching trimmer. Once again, it's gonna be the same exact trimmer as the Silver Low Pro FX ones. However, we got it in a red uh, color with a black MIM blade. So the original trimmer has a blue blade. Let me see if I can find it. Here it goes. So the original Low Pro has a blue blade, as y'all can see here. There we go. And then this one's gonna have a black blade. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up so we can see how it looks. So check it out. Here's the clipper, or I'm sorry, the trimmer. Here's the battery. Line up the arrows on front. Push that bad boy in, as you can see. Man, I, I love the way this trimmer sounds. Sounds super quiet. This one does sound a little louder. This one sounds a little more quieter, but obviously that may be due to it being a brand new trimmer. But check it out, here is the Low Pro FX1 clipper and trimmer. If you are interested in the blade for the Low Pro FX1, it does come with, let's see if we get it to focus. All right, it does come with a black graphite blade. Graphite 2.0, as y'all can see here. So the silver, the silver one comes with a, a, a blue FX blade, similar to the gold FX blade, but this one does come with a graphite 2.0. Which some people may like. Man, this thing ain't focusing. It's getting my face. All right, so this thing comes with the graphite 2.0. Some people may like this blade better. I like this blade a little better for balding. Uh, we're gonna see how it works though out the box, and then I may need to zero gap this. That way we can work it the way your boy wants to work this trimmer. But then obviously, once again, here is the box. Y'all saw the battery was in the box, and then we also have the charging dock right here. I ain't even gonna take it out for y'all, but as y'all can see, we have the charging dock here, and then I'm assuming we have, well, let's go ahead and take this out so we can see. All right, so when we look in the box, we do get the USB charging cord. We get some stuff in this box. Let's see what comes in here. All right, so as you can see, we get an extra cam follower. We do get the charging brick and then we get the screwdriver, oil, zero gap setter, all that good stuff. Check it out, we ain't done yet. They also sent your boy something else. 
this ain't got no, no nothing on it, right? So I'm pretty sure they ha they don't have a release date for this yet. But if they do, I'm gonna find out for y'all. But let's go ahead and open up this box. I haven't opened up this box though. I am. I am I'm pretty sure what it is. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I know what it is. But let's go ahead and open up this box. That way we can see what else they sent your boy. All right. So as you can see here, it basically is an FX1 battery charging system. So as you can see, you put the batteries in here, and then you put the uh, you plug it in back here. And the cool thing about this is, I've seen it, I haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna do it in this video so y'all can see, is you can actually stack multiple of these behind each other, and you can charge multiple batteries at once. So, we have one of these. Let's put this to the side real quick. Let's see what else comes in this box. So we do get the instructions in here. I'm gonna keep them. I'm not gonna chunk them like I normally do, just because I'm not uh, not 100 percent sure how to use it, though I am, you know, I'm pretty sure I know how to use it, but just in case I don't, but let's see what else they sent your boy. And then in the box we get here is the charging cable uh, to charge the battery charging set. Or the battery chargers, I guess you can say. Let's put that back in there. The last box they sent me, and I'm pretty sure it's just another charging dock for the batteries. Yeah, that's what we got here. So check it out, we do have another charging dock here. So this is what I was talking about earlier. So, all right, so check it out. Here is both chargers, like I was telling y'all earlier, as you see, I have two. But if you wanted to stack them like front to front, or if you wanted to put them in a row, that way you can charge more batteries with just one cord, what you do is you, so we see we, we lift this up, we flip this down, and then we actually can push this in at the bottom right there. And then you see this port right here, and you see this port right here. You just line them up, push them in, and boom. All we gotta do is plug in this back one, and it's gonna charge four different batteries. As, as you can see, we have four different slots for batteries. One, two, three, four. So we can charge four different batteries with, with this charger right here with just one plug, which I think is pretty dope. So once again, shout out to Babyliss for, for doing this. You know what I'm saying? I think it's innovative. I think they really, they're really trying to do something different with their tools, their batteries and all that. You know, I know a lot of people talk about how Babyliss only drops different colors of their clippers, but as you can see, man, they're, they're doing something different. They got one battery that you can use within different clippers, and then they got these two separate chargers that you can plug in together and then plug in with one cord to charge off four batteries, man. So I think that's pretty dope. But y'all know what it is, man. You know your boy's gonna put this to work. Y'all know I'm gonna let y'all know what I think about these soon, man. So y'all stay tuned so y'all can hear my review on these tools right here. All right, guys, so as you've seen in the video, your boy was putting to use the Red Low Pro FX1 Clipper and the Red Low Pro FX1 Trimmer. Uh, first thing is first, though, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to y'all about the Clipper first. So as you can see, this Clipper is slightly different from the Space Gray Low Pro FX1 that came out, I believe it was last year. And the reason why I say that is uh, the blade is a black blade, as you can see here. The uh, Space Gray one has a blue MIM blade, and this one comes with the black MIM blade. Now, 
Honestly, I think they're the same blade, obviously just different colors, right? But I don't know, man, there's something about this blade. I don't know if it's because the clipper is new or if it's the blade or if it's, or if it's the cutting blade or what, but I just feel that this clipper works like a hair smoother. You know what I'm saying? Like just, just a little more smoother than the Spades Gray. Now I'm not saying that that's a fact. All I'm saying is, based on my use i feel that these work a little better once again that may be because they're brand new obviously i've only been using these for a couple days so obviously they're going to cut better than my older ones the older ones i've been using for a good minute already so you know these are brand new and you know everything brand new out the box works well at least in my opinion they do so uh that that may be the reason why these cut a little better now i do feel that the click lever i should i should have brought the space gray ones home but like i was saying i feel that the click lever on these is a little different. Uh, I, I can't exactly tell you what it is. It just feels slightly different. And it's not a bad thing, obviously, you know. Uh, I like this, the, the click lever on the Space Gray Low Pro FX ones, and I like the click lever on these. It feels good. I like the stretch on it, you know. Originally, I wasn't a fan of, of the stretch levers, you know. They kind of threw, threw my whole fading system off, but once I kind of made some adjustments, I'm enjoying the stretch levers, you know? So I, I really like using the gold FX ones, the space gray low pro FX ones, and these because of the stretch lever. To me, I just feel that when you have that stretch lever on there, you can you can do a little more with a little less, meaning you don't really have to use all your guards when you're blending with this. And that's just, you know, the way I cut, that's just how it works for me with my system. But all in all, man, I think this is a super good tool, super ergonomic. As you can see, we do have the grooves back here. We have grooves on the side also. Just just to help you be a little more ergonomic with it, you know, depending on how you wanted to hold it, if you wanted to hold it this way when you're cutting, because I've seen, I see some people who cut, they cut, you know, like, I don't know how to show y'all, but they cut like this, so, you know, we got these little grooves right here that'll help uh, just feel a little more comfortable in your hand, and I think that's a plus, you know, if you can get a clipper that feels perfect in your hand, obviously, I would say stick with that clipper, but if you're like me, you kind of get bored with using the same thing over and over and over, so uh, I like that they came out with this red color, because I feel that this red and the gray, you know, it gives me two different options, you know, I can use the gray ones if I want, or I can use these red ones if I want, and like I said, I really enjoy them, once again, same thing with the batteries, you can see you press this button back here, battery pops out, and this same battery you can use within all FX1 units. So you can use the same battery on the trimmer, the Space Gray Low Pro FX1s, uh, clipper and trimmer, or you can even use it on the gold FX1s, even on the new stick shavers. So you can use that one battery on everything, and I think that's pretty dope. Now let's go ahead and talk about the trimmer a little bit. So even though the trimmer is the same trimmer as the gray one, it does come with a different blade. So a different blade is going to mean different performance now me personally i'm not the biggest fan of the graphite 2.0 blades i don't think they hit as good as like the gold fx blade or even the blue the blue fx blade or even the dlc blade i me, and that's just me personally. Obviously, this is to each his own. Everyone's going to have their own opinion on these blades. But me personally, the Graphite 2.0 is probably my least favorite blade from Babyliss. However, I feel that it's probably one of the best blades for balding out. This one and the DLC blade are my favorite blades for balding out. But when it comes to lining up or all around trimmers, the Graphite 2.0 blade is not my favorite blade. Now, will it get the job done? Yes. As you've seen in the video, I was lining up with it. I was balding out with it and it worked fairly well. But I just think the gold, the gold FX blade and the blue FX blade, even the DLC 2.0 blade, I feel that those blades hit a little better. So I have those blades ranked higher than this blade. But once again, it does ball out really well when it comes to lining up. It did, it did line up good. Now, you have to keep in mind also, I didn't zero gap this. So if you pay attention, to, I don't know if y'all can see it on there, but it's not 100, it's, it's not zero gapped at all. I just got it straight out the box and it was uh, working pretty good. Uh, if I wanted it to hit a little better, I can obviously move the blade up and gap it a little closer but I, did, I haven't done that yet but if you're interested on how to zero gap this trimmer or any babyless trimmers uh, I'll make sure to put the link in the description and the comment section so you can watch my video on how to zero gap babyless trimmers but like I was saying if you if I did zero gap this it may hit a little better however I just use this straight out the box and all in all I would say it's still a good tool once again we do have the battery that pops out in the back uh, same battery to use across all FX1 units and I'm liking the red on it, you know what I'm saying? The red on it looks nice. 
Blade looks good. I, I like the look of the black blade on this red trimmer. I just, like I said, I, I'm not the biggest fan of the performance of this blade. But all in all, I would still say that this a good, uh, a good trimmer. Uh, obviously, you can always change the blade. It's real easy to change the blade. You just take these screws off, take the blade off, and put another blade. So I may do that. I may get a DLC 2.0 blade and put it on here just because I like that one a little better. But I still like this blade, and I'm going to continue to use it and keep this trimmer on my station because, you know, your boy is a little extra, and I do like using new or tool so i'm probably gonna keep both the clipper and the trimmer on my station and keep running them for a while but all in all i would say the red low pro fx ones I would say they're good tools. You know, I'm not saying that you must cop them, but if you're looking for new tools and you like the Low Pro FX clippers, like the original ones, the black ones, uh, you're looking for some something newer, I would say this one or the Space Gray. You really can't lose with either one of those clippers or trimmers. You know, I think it just, like I said earlier, boils down to preference. Do you like the red? Do you like the gray? Do you like the graphite two point? 2.0 blade do you like the blue fx blade i think it just boils down to preference and you can do what you want but nonetheless i really think that these are really good tools now i'm not exactly sure how much these go for on the babyless pro website but you can go to babylesspro.com and check them out see how much they're on the website uh but i also know that if you go to fwbarbersupply.com you can use my discount code tank 10 and save yourself some money now i don't know how much these are just when you buy them from fwbarbersupply.com but i do know that if you use my discount Discount code you can save yourself some money but I'll make sure to put the price on the screen for both websites and you can pick whichever you know whatever website you want to copy from right but with that being said man that's basically it for this video if you like this video please make sure to smash that like button also if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe one time for your boy and that's basically it YouTube I appreciate y'all for watching until next time let's go